we have to evolve our talents in order to become a strength. So, and now I want to introduce you again. This investment part is exactly what we're going through right now. And so the first one was the talent. It's born, it's natural. And here we all have the investment. And this is very, very important. Uh, I recommend also to write it down. The investment is subdivided into three parts. As you see here, ignition means just like motivation, okay? Like burning fire. The deep practice, like all over again, doing the work, like from Cristiano Ronaldo, he said, like, talent without working hard is nothing. 99% talent, other people said, or also Beno told us before. This is true. This is the second part. And the third part, and probably the most important when it comes to reaching the edge, is to have a coach, is to have a mentor, or someone who is leading you through his past principles in order to get you easier or quicker toward what you want to achieve. So look at all successful, highly successful people. They all have a coach, or they used to have a coach or a mentor, uh, because we can save ourselves years if we want to become a person, um, if we just go like in, in lessons what he already have accomplished in 30, 40 years of references and past thinking and everything, and also implementation. So this is all about the investment. And I want to give you right now this example from Kylian Mbappé, from this soccer player, because he directly followed all of those principles to create an outstanding strength, what actually aligns with outstanding results and success. So this is basically where I want to go. And you see that it's a perfect example because you directly see it, Kylian Mbappé with 10, 10 or 12 years old, right? He was dreaming about becoming the, one of the most professional soccer players of all time. And I don't know if you see it, but it's just like posters from Cristiano Ronaldo, okay? I think we all know him. After a few months or years, uh, he met his role model, Cristiano Ronaldo, okay? And there was the ignition. And I want to ask you, what does this picture to do with, with ignition and motivation in the first hand? Maybe it made it tangible, like he's actually met the person that on his poster, so uh -huh. now it's actually, he can actually see it, he can touch it. Yeah. And he's, now he's like, okay, now it's real. He obviously knew Ronaldo was real before, but now it's like... I yeah, in that case, right? In that case, because he was there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, or actually, like, I, I will do my best, or I, it, it lighted the fire in him yeah. to, to actually try and be like Ronaldo. Uh -huh. And now it is the most important thing to know, very good, why? Why exactly? And this is the, I can, I can just tell you also what I um, have um, researched also from the book, because ignition starts, deep motivation starts, if you see a person who has already accomplished something what you want to accomplish, but with the same past. You know, you can say like, uh, he's coming from a very poor destination and he has made it. You know, and I have researched also, Kylian Mbappé comes from Bondi, former territory, something like that, exactly. And it was a lot of poverty, you know, in that way, and a lot of criminality. So, and Ronaldo also grew up in the slums like that, you know, in, in Portugal, very, very um, poor, poor family. And he know, of course, he knew that. And he said, like, oh, wow, when Cristiano Ronaldo is going to that level, I can make it through. You know, there is exactly when ignition is taking off. It starts with a role model, to be honest. It starts with a role model. And for me, for example, I have told Lorraine in the, in the, in the break, Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay? Not because I want to go to the stage. No worries, guys. I, I'm not that muscular. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. But what I do love about Arnold Schwarzenegger is his mindset. It's incredible. He was always thinking like beyond every other Austrian guys, you know? And for me, it was like, wow, he's the only guy who really resembles with my mindset of achieving that big things, you know, going beyond, going to America, living their dreams. 
you know, my neighbors in Austria don't tell me like this, you know, like maybe make a job and then live or... It's, all, it's also fine, right? But I want to create something more and that's also okay. Everyone can live just the way he or she wants, right? Nothing is worse, but I want you to say like, it's one life, I want to create something extraordinary, great for my life, okay? And we all can do that. So back to Kylian Mbappé, there's where Ignition starts. And as you see, as a result, they're not just playing at each other. They are competing each other to who is the best on that level in that way where Ronaldo was playing also in Europe uh, back in the days. It also says that now Kylian Mbappé is the Ignition for other people. And that means we all can be that, right? What person, what do you know in, in your, for, your, for your dreams or have accomplished your dreams? What is that person? What character traits do this person have? And how can I become, how can I learn from them? And how can I also become once in a time a, a role model for other people, a person or people looking up to? You know, it could be everything also in our, in our, in our especially in our work for our clients, for example. How can we be that person of responsibility and a leader person, for example, that say, wow, this person is uh, actually um, making a great job, uh, has a lot of responsibility and doing great, great things in this work and is capable of a lot. So, and I really translated it. I don't know if someone's speaking French here. Football yeah. Is Born. Yeah. So 98, where his year was born, and it was a great year for friends because he, Kylian Mbappé was born. And it was in the hometown <laughs> from Bondi. So this is the ignition part. Master coaching. Now, if you want to look it up, that biography from Kylian Mbappé, you will see that his parents were actually completely behind him. Everything what was negative, they absorbed the negativity and spread it and radiated the positivity that in order to grow for Kilian's best life, for example. Why? Where does this mindset come from? Because they were all poor in that way, right? But what did they do? His mother was professional in handball, like sport, and he was a soccer coach. And it just reminds me, okay, I mean, it's obvious, they all have like discipline and respect in that sport, what you learn in the sport, right? Therefore, he had the possibility to grow in that mindset. And I've really looked up the, the research and the biography and come up with three points of master coaching. And here they are. Family cohesion. So whenever life is against you, you need people who are standing right next to you, where you say, okay, we have difficulties to face, but I have my family, I have my loved ones, and those are my most important people to overcome any obstacle. That should be, this is like, what I, in my opinion, what means family cohesion. When something is going wrong, we are here for you, and something like that. That's important. The possibility that a tree can grow properly, right? Otherwise, we cut it off when it's, everything is just like problems and negative people and screaming all the time. You know, a tree cannot grow from that. You need seeds to grow it properly. Positive seeds create a positive outcome. It's always like that. Then hard discipline, of course. And this coming to the next part uh, later on. They have treated him and learned him how to be respectful. He grew up in a ghetto. Once he's not respectful, he probably uh, would have been killed or something like that, you know? So he, all, he also gained a lot of respect. And then the last one, basement for big self-confidence. Guess what? If your parents are telling you all the time, you are beautiful, you are worth it, I love you just the way you are, every single day, what do you think will come out? A big personality, a confident personality. Uh, of course, in a, in a balanced way, so not saying like, you, the only one child, you are the best in this life. No one is so good as you. I love you. you know, like, then we will say like, okay, we are overwhelming here. Uh, but if it's neutral, give our children that appreciation, they can grow and they get confident. Third part is deep practice. And I like this picture here on the top right because you see how Kilian Mbappé worked on himself 
with a young age, right? I don't know how old he was in that time, but I think like 10, 12, where other people, or for example, me, I was like, having fun with, with, with kids or playing cards or Pokemon, you know, mm -hmm. something like that in that time. Um, also making sport, a soccer player, but not in that professional and not with that mindset. I have heard a quote from him saying that with 10 years old, he wanted to be one of the best players in the world and he wanted to play for the national team for France. Incredible, with 10 years old, that mindset, you know? Kind of jealous. <laughs> no, but it's, it's all about that. So he is working over and over and over again since childhood. And then he played against Messi. Okay. And with Atomic Habits, one of the best books, a big recommendation, Atomic Habits. It's all about forming habits that leads you toward your goals. Right? If we want to achieve something, the only question is, okay, what? Maybe how bad? to persevere, but 90% is how, how are you going to do it? What system, what strategies? And this is the book of all strategies. I haven't read it. I have worked with that, like every single page. So I really recommend it. Uh, and he said, you are what you repeatedly do. You are the person what you have done every single day, constantly, for example. And I think it also was Buddha who said, if you want to know who you are, look what you have done. If you want to know who you will be, look what you're going to do today, for example. What are you going to make in this day? And last but not least, we have our successes or achievements from an outstanding strength. It equals an outstanding success, eventually. And for me, it was like, like kind of shocking. I have to know that he was actually 19 years old when he won the World Cup. 19! And you know, like Cristiano Ronaldo really assertively wanted to win it in the last World Cup, as you might know. Uh, Messi got it, okay, fine. I think like it's, it's crazy because with 19 years old winning a World Cup, of course, with his teams, uh, with his teammates, otherwise it wouldn't be possible, but also alone for him, a lot of um, winnings and most goals in certain discipline. It's just a perfect example what we can achieve once we start by developing our talents. Everything is possible. It's what we required was, I say, but it was very important. You just have to ask yourself in life two questions. <laughs> Again, why? Okay. And the second one is I've been on a lecture from a book author for one month ago, and this was the most important what I've learned in two hours of his book presentation. Just these two questions. Everything is possible with those two questions if you know why you do something, or maybe like going to the dream what you want to accomplish. And then, and this is the most important question of all of your visible successes in the future, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? You have a lot of competitors. We all have that in our society. But if you know how bad you want it, that means no matter how many circumstances pushes you through and you face the difficulties, you're gonna make it no matter what. When you carry that strength within yourself, you are capable of everything. No matter what comes through your way, you will master everything. I believe in that. And this is not just a question to look at. I was sitting on those two questions for a day. You can also sit for a week because those answers, I can tell you, are worth it. But of course, you have to identify first what you want to accomplish, what you want to make. And if you don't know, no worries. Because this report, what you see right now, is probably also a starting point to identify what you're capable of. And once you know what you're capable of, you know exactly what do I want to do with my talents. You know, because therefore I see, ah, I'm good in communication. Maybe I need to inspire some people. Guess what? That's the reason why I'm standing here today. I also have started in that way. 
my parents got me for three years or four years that report, and I have made it in the exact way. I have looked at my top five, like they asked me, okay, Marvin, what do you want to accomplish in your life with those five talents? Because this is what actually you carry within yourself. And from that way, I go all the way up, okay, communication, interesting. How can I inspire people? How can I talk to people? It's not about all of a sudden personal development. It was a process, of course. But as long as you ask yourself questions, you will always get answers. Always. But it starts by simply setting the mindset of, I want to accomplish that, and uh, what do I want to accomplish? Yeah, guys, so uh, <laughs> some inspirations for you if you want. Uh, also, everything what we talk about today are just inspirations doesn't have to be the reality for everyone. I just talk what worked for me. I had one compliment from a guy from California. He said, Marvin, I don't know someone who is actually walking the talk like you are. Mm -hmm. And that was for me the biggest compliment of my life because I would never tell you something that wouldn't work for me as well. Never, because I, this is the same what ben, Beno said before, it would not be authentic. And authenticity is one of my five core values. And so everything what I write down has worked for me or changed my life in some way. So uh, you can just use it, you know? There are a lot of gifts as well. And also the gifts are not coming just from me, also from you, okay? We are sharing gifts. We have to just to listen to them. And I think it's a, that's a good one. What do you think if we go outside? Sure. And maybe with a little bit of work, of course. <laughs> We're working on our uh, capabilities also about in, in mobility exercises and movement because we can just go to our dreams if we are healthy enough. Okay? So... Come on, guys, we can do it and now go in the sun. <laughs>